Hello and welcome to another section of this complete modern JavaScript course. In this section, we are going to talk about some of the basics but very important topics of JavaScript programming language, which is a bit difficult for the beginners to understand. So in this section, we are going to talk about topics like arrow function, the this keyword, the value type and reference type, etc. And we are going to start this section by understanding what is a default function parameter. So when we talked about functions in one of the previous lectures of this course, there we learned that if we want, we can also pass some data to a function using function parameters. And then the value of the function parameter can be used inside that function for doing some calculation. For example, here we are creating a very simple function called get years before retirement. And this function is taking two parameters, birth year and retirement age. And what we are doing is based on the birth year, we are calculating the age of the person at this line. And then we are subtracting his age from the retirement age, the official retirement age in order to calculate how many years left for that user before retirement. And then we are returning that value. Now, when we are calling this get years before retirement function here, at that time, we are passing this value 1990 for this birth year parameter and we are passing this value 60 for this retirement age parameter. So this value 1990, it will be assigned to the birth year parameter and the value 60 will be assigned to retirement age parameter. And then we are using those values inside this function for doing some calculation. So this is how using function parameter, we can pass a value to a function. Now, what will happen if I don't pass a value for a function parameter while calling a function? For example, here I'm again calling this get years before retirement function. I'm passing this value 1990 to this birth year parameter, but I'm not passing any value for this retirement age parameter. Now, in this case, what will happen is this 1990 will be assigned to the birth year parameter. So that is fine. But since we are not passing any value for the retirement age parameter, this retirement age parameter will be assigned with the value undefined. And because of this, when we are using this value undefined inside this function, because we have not passed any value for this retirement age parameter, the result which we will get might be some unexpected result. And it can introduce some bug in your program when you are not passing a value for a function parameter. So let's try to understand it with an example. So here we have the same function which we saw in our slide and here when we are calling this get years before retirement function, we are passing 1990 to this birth year parameter and this 60 to this retirement age parameter. Now in the first line, what we are doing is we are calculating the current year. So this date constructor here, it is a JavaScript function constructor. And we have not talked about function constructor yet. We will talk about it in great detail in the coming lectures. But just understand that this expression here, it is going to return us the current year. So the current year is 2024. So this will return us 2024. In the next line, what we are doing is we are calculating the age of the user by subtracting the birth year of the user from the current year. So the current year is 2024. From that, we are subtracting the value of this birth year parameter. And what are we passing for this birth year? We are passing 1990. So 1990 will be subtracted from that. And the result here will be 34, right? So 34 will be assigned to this age variable. Now what we are doing in order to calculate the number of years left before retirement from the retirement age parameter, we are subtracting age. For the retirement age, we have received this value 60. From that, we are subtracting the age, which is 34. So it will give us the number of years left before retirement. In this case, 26. Okay, so for a person born in year 1990, the number of years left before his retirement is 26 years, if the retirement age is 60. Now in some countries, the retirement age might be 65 or 70. So based on that, this calculation will happen. But for this function where we are passing the retirement age as 60 and the person born in year 1990, for him, the number of years left before retirement will be 26. So this is a very simple function which is calculating the number of years left before retirement. So if I save the changes here, 
So basically this function is going to return us the number of years left before retirement for the person born in 1990 and if the retirement age is 60 that we are assigning to this years left variable and we are logging it. So if I save the changes, you can see 26 is logged here. So it is correct. Now, if I don't pass a value for a parameter, let's say here, if I don't pass the value for the retirement age parameter, in that case, remember that when we don't specify a value for a parameter, by default, that parameter will be assigned with the value undefined. So here 1990 will be assigned to this birth year parameter, but for this retirement age, we are not passing any value. So it will be assigned with the value undefined. Same is true for variables also. So for example, if you create a variable, let's say X, but you have not assigned it with any value, in that case, by default, it will be assigned with the value undefined. So for example, if I go ahead and if I log X, let's see what happens, what it logs. If I save the changes, you see it has logged undefined and when we are calling this get years before retirement function and when we have not passed a value for this retirement age parameter you see the result is nan we have an unexpected result now why is that that's because as i mentioned since we are not passing any value for this retirement age parameter the retirement age will be undefined okay so at this line we will get the current year which is 2024 at this line, we are calculating the age of the user, which is 34. But at this line, when we are trying to subtract the age from the retirement age, the value of the retirement age will be undefined. And in the arithmetic operator lecture, we learned that any arithmetic operation we perform with this undefined value, it will always result into NAN, not a number. So that's why the result of this expression is NAN that is getting assigned to this years left variable and when we are returning it it is returning us nan okay now what will be the solution here the solution here can be if the user does not pass a value for a parameter we can set some default value for that parameter and setting the default value is very easy here we can simply use equal to and then we can assign a default value now in this case what will happen is when we are not passing a value for this retirement age parameter in that case it is going to use its default value which is 60 so now if i save the changes based on that it is doing the calculation and returning us the number of years left before retirement but if i pass a value explicitly for that parameter for which we have set the default value in that case that value will be used so in this case, since we are passing a value for the retirement age parameter, this retirement age will be assigned with this value 70. If we don't pass any value, then only the default value will be used. So again, if I save the changes, based on that, it is calculating the retirement age based on this value 70. But if I don't pass this value, in that case, it is going to use this default value. Also, if you don't specify any proper value and if we explicitly pass undefined in that case also since we are passing undefined here for this retirement age parameter explicitly it is not going to use this undefined value instead it is going to use this default value so again if i save the changes the default value will be used for this retirement age parameter and using that the calculation will happen and it will return 26 so in this way we can also set a default value for a parameter the default function parameter allows us to initialize named parameters with a default value if no value or undefined is passed into the function for a given parameter. In that case, what will happen is if we are not passing a value for the default parameter, it is going to use its default value. Or if we are passing undefined for the default parameter, it is going to use the default value. But if we are passing a proper value for the default parameter, then instead of using the default value, it will use the value which we are passing for that parameter. So if no value is provided for the default parameter while calling the function, the default value will be used. And if some value is provided for the default parameter while calling the function, then the past value will be used for that parameter. And just now we saw that with an example. And another very important point to remember here is that the default parameter should always be the last parameter in the parameter list. For example, 
let's say this function is also going to take a name parameter so let's specify it as a third parameter and here let's pass a value let's say 70 so in this case this 1990 will be assigned to this birth year parameter and this 70 will be assigned to this retirement age parameter but this name parameter for this let me also pass a value here let's say john so we want to assign john to this name parameter now let me save the changes so here everything is working as expected but now let me remove this second parameter from here and now let's save the changes now in this case what will happen is this john will be assigned to this retirement age parameter and this name will be assigned with undefined so that's why here if you see the result is nan that's because now this retirement age parameter is not using this default value instead it is assigned with this value john but we wanted to assign this john to this name parameter right if i save the changes we don't get any errors but remember that when you are using default parameter you should always specify the default parameter at the end of the parameter list so that if no value is supplied for that it will use the default value now what will happen is 1990 will be assigned to birth year john will be assigned to name and then since we are not passing any third parameter for this retirement age it will use its default value if i save the changes now now we have the correct output so always remember that whenever you are specifying a default parameter with some default value you put it in the end of the parameter list and you can also specify default value for multiple parameters but all those default parameters should come at the end of the parameter list for example if you also want to specify a default value for the name parameter you can also do that you can assign some default value here like this so that is also possible but all your default parameters should come at the end of the parameter list in order for the function to work properly all right so i hope with this example now you know what is a default parameter how you can set default parameter and what happens if we don't pass a value for a parameter in that case that parameter will be assigned with the value undefined this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day